For three seasons, Showtime's hit series The L Word has been home to many guest stars. This year, there are two new girls on campus. Three-time Golden Globe winner Sybil Shepard, along with Golden Globe and Academy Award winner Marley Matlin, join the cast, putting a capital L in the word ensemble. This is an extraordinary opportunity. It was something I've been looking for for a long time. I've never done a show like this, and I'm very um, proud and very grateful. From a temptuous team, to a bickering detective, to spoofing the actor's life, Sybil Shepard has played it all, almost. Stella Adler in particular was very influential for me as an actor. Play what you haven't lived, it will help you with your life. But also therapy helped. 10 years of psychotherapy, I highly recommend it. Have you ever had the conviction you've been living a lie your whole life? No, actually I haven't. I play Phyllis Kroll. Phyllis is Bette's boss. Phyllis is a woman who comes out later in life. She's telling a story that I felt we haven't told yet and that I wanted to tell. She's kind of played by the rules. She's been married 30 years and two children already grown in a way. There is a sense of time escaping her. I think I'm a lesbian, but in fact, I know I am. It's perilous. If something goes awry, then it could be my job. We have a situation, Alice. My boss is attracted to you. We have to let her down easy. Okay, okay. She realizes this about herself and has the courage to come out and experience it. Go, go get him, Phyllis! Marley Matlin was only 21 when she parlayed a stage role into an Oscar as Best Actress for Children of a Lesser God. More recently, she's advised the president on the West Wing. And now, she's in West Hollywood. I've never had an opportunity to play a character who's a lesbian. Jody is someone who challenges bad in ways she hasn't been challenged before. I don't get an understanding. My understanding was that you wanted me to capitulate to some asshole's reptilian politics to get money out of him, and that I will never do. The audience probably has never seen a deaf woman and a hearing woman in a relationship. It's never been done on television before. A lot of the show and a lot of the whole dyke thing is about trying to communicate, and with her, it takes it to a whole different level. We butt heads a great deal. Hi, Ma, you clean up nice. I can't say the same for you. Jody and Bette are also women who don't give up, and whatever obstacles come in the way, they make work and they go around. Adding to the on-screen chemistry is real life history. We go way, way, way back, 20 years. It was at the Paramount whatever anniversary when we became friends. Instantly, of course, <laughs> as these things happen in Hollywood. And they did a big group photo, so we asked Harrison Ford to move because he was in between us. He very kindly moved and we got to sit next to each other and it's like, it's like we're in the high school photos sitting next to each other. It feels like we just picked up where we left off. And these women just keep moving as authors, activists, and mothers. I don't live in Hollywood. I'm a Girl Scout leader. This is what makes me happy because it keeps me grounded. It keeps me sane. Actually, it was my uh, youngest daughter, Ariel, who uh, watched it with me. And she said, Mom, I think it's really good. I think you should do it. The writing, the acting was so beautiful. I was in awe of all the remarkable talent that was connected to the show. It's just, it's one of the best parts I've ever played. Catch Sybil Shepard and Marley Matlin in an all new season of The L Word. Premiering next Sunday at 10, only on Showtime.